63-year-old Sheng Hailing, with her twin daughters and husband, has been busy traveling around the country giving interviews. Back in the 1980s, Sheng and her husband firmly obeyed the country's one-child policy after her first daughter was born. But in 2009, her daughter, then 28 years old, along with her son-in-law, died of a gas poisoning accident. It devastated Sheng and her husband. We followed the one-child policy, but no one had ever thought, what if the only child died? I gave everything to my only daughter, hoping she will have a bright future, but I'd never thought that she could be gone. Sheng carries her memory with pride. My daughter seemed perfect, like the last beautiful rose of the century. We loved to hug each other. She told me that wherever she went, she has my scent on her. But one day we hugged and she left, and I never expected that her return would be in a cremation urn. Sheng couldn't bear the pain of the loss, so she went against all odds to get pregnant again using test tube technology at the age of 60. The country's new family planning policy was close to her heart. The other day I was on a plane, I read the news about China's relaxation of the family planning laws. I started crying and cried until I got off the plane. How I wish this policy existed back in my time. I would probably have had two children, and the loss wouldn't be as painful as losing my only child. Raising the trains is not an easy job. It costs a great deal of money and effort. Sheng says the country still has no policy to support families like hers. Despite their pensions, Sheng has to earn extra by giving commercial talks across the country. Although she feels tired, she says the girls are her hopes and dreams, and she will give everything to provide them with a better life. It's been 30 years since China implemented the family planning policy, during which time about a million families have lost their only child. When we apply the latest family planning laws, it's also high time that we give our attention to the bereft families who suffered loss under the one-child policy. Hu Chao CCTV, Beijing.